This is great framing. Do you want to see? Look, you little little head, little head. Hey. <laughs> my name is Whitney, and I'm in a band called Dear Ears. But my job is in retail. I work for a small shop in Greenpoint. A year ago, I had just donated my hair, so I finally have the short hair that I have now. I was struggling with money because I got reduced in my hours in a job that I used to work at this comic shop in Williamsburg. Um, what else was I doing? April this time last year, right? Oh, Leslie and Ashley, we had just did a gig last year as well. It's kind of a yearly thing around uh, springtime. God, this is hard. I don't really like reflecting back that year. Yeah. Last year was terrible. How come? Uh, we were adjusting from, I had a house previously that I lived in for 13 years and then we moved into an apartment because my house went into foreclosure. And we hated that apartment. Um, my parents were going through something and everything was just suffering. I personally, at that this exact point last year, had a hard time with friends. And I lost a lot of friends because of a choice I made. And uh, I, my anxiety was also skyrocketed at that time to the point where I had to do yoga and a lot of other like meditation stuff. Um, and I really had to build on myself. This time last year, I was building on myself and trying to recover from all the damage that happened the past couple of months prior. Because I dialed you, I just remembered that your surname is still Houston in my phone. <laughs> Good morning, Future Bing. This morning I am heading to Elliot's house. Um, we're going to have a little meeting about the new album. We're going to try and throw some ideas around. And then uh, after that, I'm going to go to Jamie's and he's going to cook us all a slap up meal. Crep check. I'm wearing my uh, Nike Free Run Fly Knits because I wanted to be super, super comfy today. So I want to talk a little bit about this like creative, um, I guess, crisis that I've been feeling lately. Particularly, I want to talk about the steps that I'm taking to address it. I expressed it a few videos ago, but for a long time, I felt like I don't have the energy, the, uh, the motivation, or just, you know, that like spark of inspiration to make stuff, or at least make stuff that I'm really happy with, that I'm really proud of. A whole load of creatives will tell you that it's not something that just comes to you, it's not something that like uh, jumps out of nowhere and just takes a hold of you, like an energy that, or spirit that possesses you. A lot of people will tell you that, that you have to work for it, that you have to you have to practice for it, and you have to kind of force it every day. Then there's a whole other school of creative people who think that it is just this uh, this kind of uh, intangible thing that you you have to wait for, you you can't look for, you can't force it. I think in reality it's somewhere in between, and I know for me I need some kind of energy from somewhere. I, I've it's been my observation that I need to draw or find my energy from somewhere. But there are practical steps that I can take, even though ultimately it might be a bit of chance, it might be a bit of um, luck, or the right, seeing the right thing, or, or thinking the right thing, or, you know, uh, just, you know, by complete coincidence I might come to an actual... 202 create a breakthrough, there are still practical things I can do to um, get there. It won't get me to the finish line, but I can get myself, um, you know, at least on the track. So that's what I've been doing for the last uh, week and a half. Pretty much every single night, I've forced myself to spend at least an hour just being creative, just channeling something, anything, seeing what happens. I'll stick on a playlist of like random chill wave or hip hop or jazz or something. Usually one of those crummy uh, pirate streams on YouTube with the, you know, the ones with the repeating gifts of Simpsons characters. Yeah, I'll stick that on in the background and I will pull out just a bunch of, of coffee table books and uh, comics and um, 
uh, manuals and dictionaries and, and whatever I have and I'll just open to random pages and I'll look at stuff and I'll spread it all out on my bed and on my desk and then I'll get my pad and I'll get a bunch of pens um, and I kind of just Please hold on while the bus is moving. And I'll kind of just free associate onto a page for an hour. I'll just like I'll read through bits and I'll, I'll pick out words. I'll pick out words that interest me or stand out to me or quotes or I'll I'll draw a particular face or a particular frame, particular panel or I'll try and like replicate something, one item of a painting and then I'll try and turn it into something else. The day that I went to Coco I also went to a really eye-opening uh, Basquiat exhibition at the Barbican and I've been a fan of, of his work and, and of, of that whole movement for a long time but what I was really struck by this time around the thing that really two stuck in my head was how Blackheath Royal Standard but the thing that really Please stuck hold on while the bus is moving but the thing that really stuck in my head this time around the thing that that kind of I was reminded of and that inspired me the most was how like referential how messy he was how he needed uh he said himself that he always needed to be stimulated he always needed records on he always needed to be like pouring through books and and copying stuff from other sources that was how he found his inspiration and i've been i've been trying to emulate that in a way i've been trying to tap into that myself and none of what i'm drawing or writing is you know an end product i don't even really want anyone to see it but what it is doing is it is getting me to that place it's getting me into that sphere where those little glimmers of what's actually important and what actually means something to you, what actually might become art, can peek through. I'm Elliot Morris and I'm a singer-songwriter and guitar player and all-round good egg. Is that fine? Yeah, that's great. Is it true? Yeah, it is actually. Another thing I've been doing particularly for music is I've been talking to my friends. I've been talking to uh, friends and colleagues who are also musicians, some of whom I'm, I'm going to work with on the new album, about how they do things, what their creative process is. It's because it's 10 years or whatever of work. Yeah. And then, and then when you do the album, you have to find that path through it and bring some things up to date and tie things down and whatever. Whereas now it's like, okay, fresh slate, how do I compose almost to order I was able to look at the songs that I I'd left off and look at the songs that I half worked on and go what does this album miss does it miss mm. an up tempo one does it up miss a downbeat one you know and that's nice as well is is looking at what you've already written and making sure you don't tread the same ground and mm. work at what what you still need to make that a finished collection you know Sustenance. I think that's why I feel so creatively charged when I'm doing this project. It forces me to be making stuff every single day and not thinking too much about it. I have to do stuff. I have to pick up a camera, uh, even if I'm not in the mood. If I'm forced to pick up a camera and think about telling a story, even if I'm not in the mood, it goes a long way to getting me in the right frame of mind, to stimulating the right energy that I need to make the other things that I'm working on. Either that or I'm just playing up to the camera. Is PBFB solving my problem? Or am I solving my problem because of PBFB? Hey, how's it going? Sorry, I'm doing that film my life Sorry. though. Chocolatino? I don't know what that is. Wait, no, I can't put this in the video because I promised not to have coffee! And I'm breaking my promise and I filmed it! Do you want a chocolatino? Yes, I do. How much do you Don't tell Future Bank. So, right. Let me tell you about 2018 so far. Because it's a- it'll fucking blow your mind. Right. So far in 2018, I have had drinks with a prince. Reconciled my differences with Tom Scar. Same guy? Is he now Prince Tom Scar? <laughs> oh, different guy. Same knight. So, different knight. <laughs> okay. Um, he's a knight. 
drunk more tequila than I did in the previous two years combined. I'm scoring a play for my friend that will that is going to be sh that has a date already and nice. is going to fringe. Wow! Oh, great. So Tom okay. happened first, right? How did I, went, that happen? I went to the. Um, I went to the. Ellie and I have come up with some chords that no one else has ever used before. This is one of them, but with a nine. That that one. That's a D minor with a nine. I think one person has used them before. Nope, no one has ever used that one before. Cause you can't do it, you can't even look. You'd have to be some kind of Hercules. I'm not used to writing music with another, with anyone else in the room. That's something I really need to get used to. I felt like really weird today. Do we have to today. get used to it? We don't have to get, I mean, I have to get used to it. You can, I'd rather not. if you want to text me as soon as I'm out the door and say, never come back, never ever again, that, that, that you feel like as a net gain, you're actually worse at guitar now, having written with me, then that's fine. I don't know how to work with other people and communicating with other people is still something kind of new. I tend to just do it in the dark, in the middle of the night on my own. And if I'm ever gonna really grow, I need to get out of that, like, containment field. I need to get out of it, out of that. You know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying. I feel energized, yes! That was good, that was positive. Hey! How's it going? Sorry, this is dinner. Oh shit. Well, this is phase one of Oh, you're slow cooking. Yeah, most. Oh. Put this stuff on at 10 o'clock. You spoil us. <laughs> you spoil us, sir. Oh, yes. <laughs> Just finished my work for the day, cleared my Ravensbourne emails, uploaded an episode of UC, uh, and now I'm done, and I'm just gonna chill out with Jamie, and we're gonna eat a beautiful, beautiful meal. I'm gonna stop filming now because I wanna eat it. <laughs> oh.